So let me get your take on that today. You're someone, you did five years, four, four years, and 10 toes, you never told, you know what I'm saying? You never, your name isn't any paperwork or anything like that. But today, that's kind of like, like the norm for people to tell and snitch and whatnot that, that yeah. are involved, that are yeah. voluntarily involved in the streets. Yeah. And I know you, I can tell about your social media, you're an advocate for, you know, that being some sucker shit, which it is. But like, what's your take on that being so normal today with dudes that jump off the porch, but still end up telling and being in paperwork? I think it's, it's extremely selfish, but it's more so like the end of, my bone to pick ain't really with them. It's really with the people that's involved with them that may not have told, but they still associated with them. So now your man's, you know that's in him. You know if you get caught, you are going to jail because of this man. You know he's going to tell. Why are you still putting yourself in the predicament to associate yourself mm. with sucker individuals? Yeah. Like Joker, who I used to run the streets with. Mm -hmm. First name start with an A, last I'm, name P. I know you're talking about. Um, when I look back, like, I'm like, I, I was an idiot. You mm. know what I'm saying? This also goes back to the drugs. Like, you're not really in your right frame of mind. So yeah. it's like, I know he would have told. And mm. to this day, his baby mother is locked up because of him. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Still sitting behind. You know what I mean? Because mm. of him. So it's like, we, we got to be responsible. Not we, but y'all got to be responsible as men that's in these streets. If that's what you're going to do. To really analyze, you know what I'm saying? Really analyze the person who you are dealing with, bro. Mm. Because I'm telling you, he will get you a life sentence. Keep on playing. Mm. Keep on playing, bro. He will get you a life sentence. He will take time away from your family, bro. And just to save his own ass. Because he knows when he gets in that system, he is going to be dog food. So why do you think they associate with him still? Do you think it's because they're gullible? Or, I mean, delusional, gullible, whatever? Or it's... That's my man's, like, you know what I'm saying? We sandbox. He... It, it be that, but then it be like, sometimes individuals be trying to get the benefit out of the person. Like, the, this person may have clout. Mm. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? This person may be tied in, like, if people that's, like, on that rap scene, they may be tied into uh, a producer, a musician, or they may, they just got clout. Yeah. Nigga may be the um, the plug on the uh, on the swipe. Nigga, nigga may be a... a uh, have a bachelor's degree in scamming. You know mm, what I'm saying? You, yeah. you don't know. He probably just has access to so much. So yeah. they just continuously associate with him because he has yeah. access to so much stuff. Yeah. <clears throat> I was recently on the Day by Day podcast and the topic of snitching and associating with snitches had came up. Let me be very straightforward here. If you are from the people that believe that it is okay to associate yourself with known snitches that are still active in the streets, you must be prepared to face the consequences that come with that decision. Whether that be from law enforcement or whether it be from people that are really about that life and that do not care about doing life. Uh-huh. Second thing, if you are from the people that cannot distinguish and differ between who is solid and who is not, you definitely don't need to be in the streets. You need to go on Indeed and get a job. I hear all the time, oh, you really don't know who a person is until they're faced with serious pressure. Meaning getting booked, processed, interrogation room, trial, etc. True, there is some truth to that. However, you know <laughs> in the preliminary stages leading up to those moments that this person is timid. He has timid behavior, suspect behavior. He pillow talks. He talks too much. And you going on missions with him. You think that that's okay. Why? You continuously associate with a pillow talker. Why? And then when it get critical, you act surprised. You knew. Don't play dumb. You knew. But I guess maybe it's the drugs. I guess maybe the perception is off from the pills, the smoking, the drinking. I guess. 
it's understandable because I used to be there once. But alhamdulillah, Islam had gave me clarity. And I don't got to deal with the nonsense anymore. Alhamdulillah. But for you people that still choose to make those decisions, be okay with what comes with it. You're associating with a rat, leeching off of a rat. Because why? He has the whole dunya at his disposal? <laughs> he has the whole dunya at disposal, so we gonna rock with him. <laughs> Money, cars, clothes, swipe, yeah. girls. <laughs> Some of y'all like boys. <laughs> Weirdo. <laughs> okay, cool. Be prepared. Be prepared. Life is very short. Don't spend it with a rat. <laughs>